I remember Grover Jackson coming down to to our early gigs in in the states. Probably you know probably the second tour. I think up until that time, it, technology was very different. You, you didn't have digital delays, you, you know, analog stuff. Uh, I think I was using my my Les Paul at the time. I was having a lot of tuning problems. You know, stage long tours, bright lights, heat. The guitars would stay in tune, and and immediately I I played this Jackson with the locking locking uh, equipment on it, you know, the, the tremolos and stuff. Uh, it was just, I thought, this is a solid guitar. It's going to work for me, you know, doing long tours, long shows, and stay in tune. It's like a tool, you know. That was the first thing that attracted me to it. I was actually lucky enough, uh, Grover took me to the factory. He said, well, what do you want? You know, uh, do you want to, what sort of neck do you want? And, you know, so I, I think I took an old Fender neck in there and I liked the dimensions of and that's how it started. I could have a neck exactly how I wanted it. You know, the dimensions were right for my hands. You know, that's uh, that's how I started with it. You know, and it, it just made my life a lot easier. In the 80s, I'd, uh, it, was, it was very much this design. It was the it was a white guitar. Is it? I mean, it's pretty simple. I think you've either got to go for a really flashy design, or I think this just looks. It's a beautiful white, and it just and it shows up on stage really well. And it's not it's not too cluttered up, so I like the way it looks. But this pretty much is the guitar I played in, in you know, in most of the tours we did in the 80s. Uh, and then they came up with the idea of uh, a few years ago of doing like a reissue. And ironically, I've been sort of got my old Jackson out of retirement, but it was a bit beat up, you know. They sent me the the prototype to try out, and I got it out of the box, and I and I played it for about three years. It was my main guitar. Just I said, well, I just like the way it is. I think it's just the, the quality of the of the, the workmanship. For instance, you know, if I'm doing anything that, which is in weird tunings and you have to play up the neck here, you can bet that it was, the intonation is going to be perfect because of the the, the level of, of you know craftsmanship in it. They're very comfortable to play because you know if you're on stage for two hours, you can you can carry them around no problem. You know, so they're, they're practical. To be honest, if I have to mess around with guitar too much, I kind of lose interest in it. If it's, it's got to be basically right, all out of the box, I can just take them and, and plug them in and play them straight away. You know, that's the, the consistency of them. They say that every guitar's got a, a song in it, you know, and if you just kind of, it just it kind of can, you just get a vibe off it. It's a very organic thing, you know. You can pick it up and get 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 something off it usually, you know.